Martin, we're in the hole today at Paragon Tool Making. Can you start by giving me a little overview of the company, please? Uh, no problem. The company started in 1969, uh, building press tools primarily, and we've continued to do that since then. Uh, we've grown the business through apprentices mainly because we are out on a limb a little bit in Hull. Um, so the only way we've been able to grow tool making uh, is through apprenticeships. Most of the people have been here now 20 years plus, um, which is a great thing. In your recent acquisition, the Mitsubishi machine, why, why did you go for this machine? Well, we went for this machine because previously we'd had a coaxial flushing machine of a, of a capacity of 800 by 600 and we wanted a submerged machine with a similar capacity and the Mitsubishi was prime in the market for us to be able to do that. The MV4800, we see lots of these in the field, why do you think that is? Uh, Mitsubishi machines are a very good machine and you will see lots of in the marketplace. This one for us um, was, was perfect really, suited all the things that we needed to do. Paragon Tool Making, you've used many different brands over the years but never Mitsubishi. So why Mitsubishi now? Uh, we went to the market and did a pretty, pretty in-depth research as to what it was that we were looking for. Uh, and after looking at all the various different pros and cons of different machines, we settled upon the Mitsubishi because of the capacity, physical capacity, the uh, X uh, travel and the Y travel fitted in very well with what it was we were doing with our press tools that we particularly had on the uh, manufacturing route at that particular time. Uh, and the energy, energy savings, wire savings, everything else that went with the machine really made it the number one choice really at the end of the day. And how have you found the control going from a, a different brand across to the Mitsubishi control? Absolutely no problem at all. The best person to talk to is the operators of course, but I've had no negative feedback at all from the transition that we've made from one control system to another control system. In fact, in some cases, they prefer some of the features that are on the new machine. And when you purchase a machine, well, that's great, but how about the training and ongoing support from HK? Well, initially I'd like to mention the uh, support we were given in, in, in the ease of which we were able to choose the machine. Uh, but secondly, after that, once the machine was installed, the training that we, we were provided with was perfect. Um, the operators were left with nothing that they didn't know about. If you buy another wire machine, maybe even an EDM machine, would you consider Mitsubishi going forward? Most definitely, yes. Yes, the support and service that we've had from them has been second to none. Uh, so it's obviously it's very difficult when somebody's used to a control on a machine and been operating a machine for a long time. People don't like change. Nobody likes change. So what we try to do is offer more of a package to the customer. Sales support uh, on terms of applications and training and the quality of the machine. Uh, we like to sell the machine on the fact that the Mitsubishi machines are cast iron structure uh, internally, so they're very rigid. But outside of that, we offer, I believe, the best application support in the business uh, and the best training within the business. And that's really where we come from. We try to take it to the next level for what the customer can then get out of that machine that they're not getting out of their incumbent suppliers at the moment. So you're not looking just to supply a box or a machine in it, you're actually looking the whole solution, the support, the training, ongoing support throughout the lifetime of the machine? Yeah, that is totally ongoing. I mean, with the machine, standard five days training, when we get the machine, we can increase that if that's needed. But we like to look after the customer. We like to put an arm around the customer and make sure they get everything they can out of that machine. They understand how the machine works and they understand how they can benefit from that. And did that happen here at Paragon? Yes, yeah. I mean, uh, Dean, our, tra our applications guy, came up and did the initial training. But after that, we've called in occasionally. We've been contact, constant contact with the guys here. And we also, our applications team have direct phone numbers. So there's no trying to go through a switchboard to ask a question to our team. You dial direct in and you talk to Dean, you talk to Scott directly over the phone. And I'm guessing Paragon aren't unique. You're selling machines into companies that have got other brands of machines. Yeah, it's a, it's, a common, it's a common thing that happens. You know, we have to offer something different. We can't just go into the marketplace doing the same thing as everybody else because we just get what we've always had. So we try to offer what's different. No matter who the company are, they'll get the same sales, same level of support from our applications team, our sales team and our service team as Paragon get here. And finally, with Mitsubishi, you're not the cheapest, you're not the most expensive. You like to pride yourself on you know, a high price performance ratio. Yeah, that's it. That's the key to it. To us, it, as you say, we're not, we're not going to be the, the, the cheapest, but what we do offer is a complete package so people to be able to get the maximum use out of their new machine 
and then the, the, the partnership that we like to have with those with the companies likes to go on and on into the future, not just a short term thing. So if somebody's watching this video and they want to inquire, just got to get in touch with HK. Yeah, give us a call. Um, give us a call at HK Technologies and we'll come talk to you and we'll give you the same package as Paragon and have and you'll be as happy as they are.